Mike is showing off some of the best ways to see all of that oh, sea man. life. Hi, Heather. See, this is so San Diego. <laughs> It is so San Diego. And I will tell you what, there's something about 2020 where I know like Chrissy was talking about it. She's like, I haven't made plans. I don't know what to do. It's like people don't make plans anymore because we don't know what's open. We don't know what to do. Here's the deal. I am going to make your plans for you. All right. It is locals summer right now and it is gorgeous. So if you come on out to La Jolla, we're at the shores. You can go all the way to the cove with some kayaks. That's what we did this morning. Well, not all the way to the cove, but we made it a uh, part of the way. So Lindsay and I from Everyday California took out some kayaks. The visibility right now, you guys, Guys is so incredible. You can see Garibaldi. You can see the leopard sharks. We saw one on the way in. The seals are out there playing. It's pretty incredible. So this video is all of us. The drone footage from Mr. Aaron Udaley taking some beautiful uh, overhead footage of us and um, giving us some GoPro shots and all of that jazz out there. So it's gorgeous out here. Just to say that if you've never tried this before, it's super simple for people who have maybe never swam, maybe never been in the ocean. You're a little worried about it. The folks here at Everyday California are going to basically get you a, like accustomed to what you're doing with these kayaks, help you out. Lindsay, tell us, I mean, you even helped me get the kayak into the water to make sure that I didn't get super wet and had a great experience. So tell me a little bit about how you help people. Yeah, so this is a good experience for any level of kayaker. You can be a brand new and we're going to help you out through the waves. We're going to explain where to go out there, how to kayak. Um, and when you're coming back in, we're also going to ensure that you're coming in safely. I helped you so you didn't fall out of your boat this morning. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, if you look at the waves, they're not really small. So if you think about someone coming in on the waves in a kayak, you might be a little bit apprehensive about it. How old do you have to be to get in one of these? So uh, five years old and up is what we tell people. And it's also really helpful if you know how to swim. But like I said, Anybody can really go out there. You got those life jackets on. You are definitely getting wet, but you're going to be perfectly safe. <laughs> and it's pretty warm. The water feels so good right now. I haven't looked at the exact temps, but I'm going to call it around 65, yeah, um, 62, right. 65. Yep. It feels about like that for someone who's been a local here for a while and loves getting in the ocean. We've got some footage too to show people of the leopard sharks because it is that time of year. Every year we see them. Well, about until November, we can check them out. And right now the water is warm enough that they are out and about, right? That's right. The visibility is really good too, and the ocean can change quickly. So I recommend getting out here within the next couple of weeks. Like I said before, they're going to be in two to three feet of water, so you guys can wait around, do some snorkeling with them. It's a really great time. Yeah, you guys have a couple different excursions. So you can do snorkeling, you can do kayaking, and stand up paddling, right? And you yeah. take them even out where you could do what, kayaking and snorkeling at the same time. That's right. We'll take you over to our coves, and you can snorkel right in front of our caves. Um, and if anybody wants to do surfing, we also do surf lessons out here. Cool. Yeah. I was trying to tell everybody that when you go out, it's pretty interesting because you're right in front of the Shores Hotel. So right behind Lindsay, let's take a look. This is the Shores Hotel if you're not accustomed and know the area very well. Basically, where this woman is in her white shirt over here, like just getting into the water, you could go right where the surf is breaking and literally see the sharks right there. You don't have to feel like you're in the middle of the ocean to see some of these leopard sharks. And by the way, people hear the word shark and they get a little scared. <laughs> It, don't worry about it. Those The things you got to probably worry about most is the stingrays, which you just do the stingray shuffle and then float around and you get to look at them. That's look and right. don't touch. Yeah. Just check them out, right? Be respectful of the animals, but these sharks are only about five, six feet long and their mouths are a little bit bigger than a quarter. And their bottom feeders, they don't want to do anything to us as humans. They're just beautiful yeah. to see. It was really cool. I went last Friday and saw it. Raul, I know that this is something you haven't tried before, but I promise you, it is so cool. Your kiddos are going to love it. Come on out. Basically, they're taking out tours now of up to five people, your same household. So you can all get a guide to go out so you don't feel like you're going out in the ocean by yourself for the first time <laughs> and lost at sea. By the way, how crazy is this crowd of, of surfers? They knew the surf was good. They knew things were glassy and clear and beautiful this morning. So as you can see, they are out and about. Um, but it is gorgeous this morning and a great weekend to get out to the beach. It looks beautiful. And I just don't do the sharks. I'll be the one that stands on the sand and says hello. <laughs> hello, shark. From, oh, yeah, not my thing. But others, others from afar. Like From afar. All right, Heather, thank you.